Stress that takes over our lives causes a cascade of reactions in your body. This reaction is called the fight or flight response. It is your body's way of preparing you to stand and fight or flee from danger. This response is your body's way of preparing you to deal with a tiger praying, a war party attacking, a danger to your family. <laughs> Today, worry, fear, anxiety, stress can cause us to live in constant fight or flight response. What happens to your body in the fight or flight response? Your heart rate increases, your blood pressure increases, your breath rate increases, your muscle tension increases, your perspiration increases, your mental alertness and heightened senses increases, your blood flow to the brain, heart, and muscles increases, your blood sugar increases, your cholesterol increases, your platelets and clotting factors increase. The blood flow to your skin decreases. The blood flow to the digestive tract decreases. The blood flow to the kidneys decreases. The general housekeeping function of your body, repair, growth, and reproduction decreases. All of these changes are helpful when you are in danger but can be devastating when your body stays in this state on a daily basis. Let's focus on the changes that are related to heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Increases in your blood sugar, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood clotting factors, and in the, inhibit the inhibiting of your body's ability to heal and repair all lead to your developing diabetes, heart disease, and gaining weight. What can you do? How can you stop this problem? Everyone has worries, pressures, difficulties. Studies show that meditation can effectively relieve the symptoms of stress. Major hospitals throughout the world are using meditation to reduce stress and improve health. University of Massachusetts Medical Center was one of the first. We'd like to teach you some simple techniques that you can do anywhere that will help you reduce stress and improve your health.